Rosenblatt analyst Barton Crockett joins us this morning. Buy rating, 261 target. Barton, always good to talk to you. What do you think we're going to get on Monday? Um, I think we're going to get, um, uh, uh, in terms of the Apple intelligence uh, that comes out um, before the earnings report, um, you know, it's, a, it's a slow roll, right? We get a few features on Apple intelligence, uh, you know, summaries, uh, you know, the, it's really just a very small intro. So it's a taste of what's to come. Um, you know, I think it gets much more meaningful uh, with iOS 18.2, which comes a few weeks later, um, where you start to actually integrate with ChatGPT. Um, you start to build in um, visual intelligence, um, which gives you that ability to use your kind of visual camera capabilities and AI um, and to do some image kind of generation things that get to be much more full featured. So there's more to come after that. Um, I think that, uh, um, you know, what is going to happen is that this has been one of the key selling points and it hasn't been there. Uh, but as it rolls out, um, that should be helpful for iPhone sales. So is it your general view that the 16 is kind of a bridge to the 17? And should we try to tune out this, uh, this supply noise about the 16 in the meantime? I believe so. I mean, we're certainly modeling that. I mean, we're modeling uh, that the, the September quarter iPhone revenues are going to be up 3%. Um, IDC has guided or said that they see September quarter unit sales for iPhone up 3.5%. Um, Apple is guided for revenue growth near uh, the June level, so around 5%. We're consistent with that. Um, they haven't warned. The consensus is consistent. So I think the September quarter is fine. I think the guide for the December quarter is going to be interesting, uh, but they won't really know what AI is doing yet because it won't really be fully deployed. So I think you have to fasten your seatbelt and have some faith that this thing will be interesting as you look later into uh, next calendar year. And then iPhone 17, the feature should be very fully deployed. And that's when we think you start to get the double digit growth that looks more like a super cycle uh, as people have seen what the capabilities are of AI and they want to get it. Um, so that's what we're banking on in our model. Yeah, some have tried to use that phrase to describe the current cycle that we're in, but we'll see if they jump the gun or not, Barton. Uh, we'll see, hopefully yeah. talk next week too. Thanks so much. Great, thank you.